Pick up your packs and run with me. Pick up your packs and run with me. We are the sons of unity. We are the sons of unity. A lot of people do not agree with doing tactical reloads. Tactical reloads are done when there is a lull in a gunfight and you want to make sure you've brought your pistol back up to full capacity. They're done when there's time and opportunity and not when you've run dry. You want to speed load when you've run dry and we'll cover that next. But what I'm going to show you is a tactical reload even though I have run dry in this drill. Uh, I'm just not wasting ammo. So I'm going to run dry but I'm going to do a tactical reload and show you how that's done. So when there's a lull in the gunfight, you want to bring the pistol back into your workspace, grab your magazine from your belt, and bring it up to the pistol. You want to eject your current mag into the hand, grabbing it with your thumb, shifting your hand slightly, insert your new mag firmly with one solid tap, then replace the removed mag to your belt. You can look at your belt when you do this. It's faster than blindly searching for your magazine holder. Think about being efficient, thinking about your decision on when to do it. When you run dry, you need ammo quickly. Upon slide lock, you want to quickly bring your pistol into your workspace and get your thumb on the mag release. Bring your off hand down the center of your body and allow your thumb to sweep to the next mag. Don't look down to find it. You've run dry, you want to keep your eye on your target. So grab your mag and index it quickly before slamming it into your pistol. Power stroke the pistol or hit the slide release and reestablish a good grip. Drive out. Stay away from a slingshot method of uh, stroking the slide. Power stroking bleeds over into a lot of other dynamic skills, so stick to it as much as possible. You can either use the slide release or the power stroke depending on how your weapon system is designed and which method is more efficient. I prefer to utilize the power stroke for training and consistency. The double feed is the worst malfunction you can have. This will require uh, remedial action. So you've driven out to fire and you feel a mushy trigger. You want to do the 10 degree tilt, identify the double feed, bring the pistol into your workspace, lock the slide back, drop the magazine, power stroke the pistol three times, place another magazine into the pistol, power stroke again, reestablish your grip, extend, and fire. This will take some time. Usually four to 10 seconds is typical. Type 2 are out of battery. This is when the slide fails to battery. This usually happens when the gun is dirty due to carbon buildup. So you want to do the 10 degree tilt, identify the gun is out of battery and tap it. Hit the back of the pistol to put it back in battery. Reestablish your grip, extend, and fire. Failure to feed or failure to fire. Uh, this happens when you received a click when you press the trigger. You want to place the pistol into your workspace, tap the magazine, power stroke the pistol, extend, and fire. The stovepipe is an issue that you can set up with a piece of uh, spent brass. Uh, it's actually when a piece of brass gets stuck in the slide mechanism. Uh, so you want to insert the brass into the chamber allowing the slide to grab it. To identify, you do the 10 degree tilt, identify your stovepipe, sweep your hand across the top, reestablish your grip, extend, and fire. These drills are meant to hone efficiency, reduce wasted movements, and increase your accuracy. Remember, amateurs train until they get it right, and professionals train until they get it wrong. So push yourself, find your mistakes and overcome them. Don't just shoot until you're comfortable. Once you're comfortable, move on until you're uncomfortable and work from there.